Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to go through the steps on how to turn your iPhone and your iPad into baby monitors. So as you're probably aware, there's a lot of different baby monitors out on the market. They're pretty expensive. But if you've actually got an iPad and an iPhone, you can create your own baby monitor for very, very cheap. Now, all you have to do is you go into the App Store on each of your devices and download an app called Baby Monitor 3G. This app is available for both your iPad and your iPhone. Make sure you have a relatively newer iPad or iPhone because it may not work on a much older version of the iPhone or iPad. So just got it up, just make sure that they're updated relatively new within the, you know, the last few years. Download Baby Monitor 3G for both your iPad and your iPhone. The apps are not free, but they are relatively cheap. So go and download each of those and we'll go and install them and let's show, let's look at how they work. So I've already already downloaded them. So I've already downloaded them. So I'm just going to click out of here and I've got the apps in here. Okay. So baby monitor, baby monitor. So I'm going to open up the two of them. Now, originally it's going to ask you to configure your wireless network. So you have to ensure that both your iPad and on your and your iPhone are both on the same wireless network. So if you're using it at home, have them both connected to your Wi-Fi and, and you should be good to go. So as long as your iPad and your iPhone are both on the wireless network at your home, or you're on your Wi-Fi, you should be able to go and configure it. Once the apps are open, you'll see a presenter with the main screen and two options here, baby station, parent station. So you can use this for two devices. You're gonna set one device as a baby station, one device as a parent station. Your baby station is the device that's going to be facing your baby. Okay, so you could set that as your iPhone or your iPad, and that's the one that's actually facing your baby. The parent station is the, is the station that you're gonna be using to be monitoring your baby. Okay, so let's, let's what we'll do is let's set the parent station as my iPad. Okay, it's looking for an available baby station. It hasn't found one yet. So on my iPhone, we're gonna set up as baby station. Okay, there you go. So now it's connected and I'm gonna say start monitoring on here. So now you'll see, oh, the baby's awake. The baby's awake because I've just started speaking. Okay, let me actually turn the sound down because what you'll find, oh, let's turn that down. Okay, what you'll find is because they're right next to each other, it's going to start going into a vicious loop. So it says the baby's awake. You can actually see that it's registering me speaking. That is registering it from the iPhone. Okay, so the other beautiful thing is I can now pick up my iPhone. All right and I'm just facing it out. And now I can click on the camera button here. And you'll actually see that is now my iPhone. So there's my iPhone in real time, out my window of my apartment, in real time, showing the baby, essentially, okay? And you'll see that as I'm speaking, as I'm speaking, see the red bars down the bottom will light up. So it'll tell you if the baby starts to cry, for example, uh, etc. etc. So that is essentially the baby monitor. You can also set the light. Okay, so the light, you push that light button, the light button goes on on my iPhone. Cancel. All right, and that's essentially it. So it shows me the, the battery 83% on my iPhone. There was activity within the last minute. I can actually look through my options activity log. It'll give me a log of what's been happening. So the baby's currently awake. That happened a minute, 55 seconds ago, uh, etc. So if I stop talking, it'll then do another log down the track when I can actually go and monitor it. So that is essentially a very simple baby monitor that you can use that is very, very cheap and won't break the bank, okay? On this one, you can also do other things like Microsoft microphone sensitivity, so on my iPhone which I'm using as my, as my baby monitor, I will, I can set, you know, do I want it to be low? Do I want it to be medium? If we've got a very loud child, you want it to be maybe low so it picks it up. Otherwise it's going to start distorting on high, 
You know, you can set up things like the sex of the baby, the name of the baby, power saving mode if you want the, um, the, you know, the, the LCD to go down, proximity sensors, camera auto off on, etc. So that is a relatively cheap baby monitor. Now, overall, this monitor is fantastic. It'll do the trick. It's very, very cheap. Only downfall is that it doesn't do night vision mode. Um, to get around that, you can do obviously the things like um, the light. Okay, so if we go on here. So the light, so if you have uh, you know, your, your, your iPhone in a dark room, you can just set the light on. All right, and that will turn the light on, for example. But other than that, that is it. So look, it won't do, it won't do the infrared night sensing mode, but it does the trick for everything else, every other feature, and it's, it's literally only a few dollars. So that is a simple way to get your iPhone and your iPad working on a baby monitor. So hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.